Back right now, though, to that school board meeting tonight in the small community of Denver, just north of Waterloo, as community members once again spoke out in favor of the girls track coach, the former coach Abby Fleeler, they presented a second petition to try to have her reinstated as coach. But tonight the school board says they're moving forward with replacing her and won't say why. KWWL reporter David Warrington joins us with more on just what happened tonight. David. Well, Ron and Elizabeth, ultimately the decision was made not to place the petition on a future agenda. That means the coach Fleeler's rehiring will not be reconsidered. This decision came after many community members spoke for the entire 30 minutes allotted for public comments, giving their support to the former coach. The second straight month, the Denver School Board meeting was met with dozens of people supporting fired girls track coach Abby Fleeler. I am very, very scared and I've made it very vocalized and my husband has made it very vocalized to a few people. We don't know if we want to stay here solely because of how she is treated. How are these girls treated? How is my son treated? And how are they going to be treated? The outcry comes after the board made the decision not to retain the coach, who is also an art teacher at the district's elementary school and is an assistant track coach at Wartburg. I am disappointed with your decision not to reinstate Abby Fleeler as girls track coach, despite recommendation for reappointment by both the athletic director and the superintendent. Ms. Prendergrass and Mr. Krebsback made a motion not to reinstate her, and then all five school board members agreed to that, despite no discussion as evidenced by review of the meeting minutes uh, from the June 12th meeting. It was at that June 12th meeting that the board officially made the decision not to retain Coach Fleeler. According to one speaker tonight, the coach was only notified of this move via a text message from a district parent. Fleela herself spoke tonight, giving thanks to her supporters and also explaining efforts for communication about her track program. You guys know what our team is about if you've participated in my program. When I've been fighting for these things, it is for every single kid. It is not just the best kids. There's a lot of behind the scenes meetings that have happened. I have asked to have everybody present who has those meetings about me or about my program to be in the room with me when I have those, and those have not taken place. Board President Heather Prendergast explained her decision not to put this on a future agenda. I'm going to go ahead and make a motion to not place this on the agenda again. We have heard the petition. There was no motion after that. We've done this. We've covered this territory. It's, it's time. The Denver CSD School Board also released a statement reading in part, quote, for those who may not know, the board has the authority to approve or not approve a school district's at-will employees, including coaching staff, each year. We also want to emphasize that various individuals have shared diverse perspectives of the board, even if they have not felt comfortable doing so publicly. And that full statement will be available on our website at kwwl.com. With the decision not to put the petition onto a future board agenda, the board will not be reconsidering their decision to not retain the former coach. Elizabeth? All right, David. And we know that many people at that meeting asked for more transparency on all of this tonight, but the board has stated that they don't comment on personnel matter matters and will not comment further on what, uh, beyond what they said tonight, right? Absolutely. All right, thanks, David.